on the next episode of the Canadian Podcast. If you want a good smoke, try one of these. The origins of cannabis prohibition in the USA can be traced to the political ambitions of one man. Ed Slaver maintains what has been called a gore file, which is essentially exaggerated stories of people committing heinous crimes while high on marijuana. <laughs> so, you know, some boy in Ohio smokes a joint and kills his entire family with an axe. And Anslinger has pictures. He can provide copies in newspapers to, to put all these things together. The Treasury Department intends to pursue a relentless warfare against the despicable dope peddling vulture who preys on the weakness of his fellow man. Plus, in the U.S., banking for cannabis companies is a bureaucratic mess. So we speak to a cannabis banker. We have an odd system where the federal law has now gone into discrepancy with state laws. You have a scenario where you have a product that is federally illegal, but in many states now there's some form of legality. A bank cannot bank cannabis because it is still federally illegal. And that traces back to something we have called BSA, Bank Secrecy Act. It essentially put the onus on financial institutions that you have the responsibility to prevent crime, <laughs> to prevent proceeds from crime from entering the financial system. Find out how to bank cannabis in the U.S. Subscribe to the Canadian Podcast, your authority on cannabis, in partnership with westernbuzz.ca. Another Everything Podcast production. Subscribe wherever you get your podcast.